build a printer. Welcome to Simple Rudd. This episode is going to be uh, kind of a box opening, kind of a build of the Prusa. Now, Prusa printers have been around for a long time. In fact, I've been using them at my place of work now for at least three years. We started with the Prusa 1.5. Now we got the MK3S Plus. Uh, the Plus added a couple of features that make the usability nicer, but didn't increase the price, which is awesome. Now I did order one in all black. And not a fan of the orange, but you know, whatever it is, what it is. I also got the smooth PEI sheet and the powder coated one, so we can uh, later on see the difference we with the textures and printing on surfaces and stuff like that. You know, I'm hoping that there's enough of a following eventually that I can pump out some more 3D print videos and go over stuff like that. This one's just gonna be getting everything out of the box and getting it built. Um, I'll probably do another video later figuring, but I do want to say if you're in the market for a 3D printer and you've got a thousand dollars, this is the printer I would go with. Its usability is amazing. Um, its community is massive. People have been using it for a long time. They have a lot of feedback and it's got a good print size. It's not massive, but it's not tiny either. You can get away with a lot. Um, if you get you can build your own heated chamber and you can do ABS pretty easily. You can do PETG, no problem. Um, of course, straight out of the box, you're going to do PLA and PETG anyways. So yeah, let's get everything out of the box and see what all comes with. As you can see, the uh, large box contained many smaller boxes. Now with that, really love how they ship stuff. One, you get candy. I'm gonna beat that. But two, you get, you know, verified proof of your components working after they've been tested. You get a list of sites and how they're helpful, along with two books. So assembly instructions and 3D printing handbook, both very handy, especially for new people, but even so for, you know, those who've been doing this for a long time. Now the larger box right here is your PEI sheets. Now the cool thing you'll see with these boxes, for example, it'll tell you the step in which you're going to use that box. So their work instructions are phenomenal. And really the only work instructions that I think are better than Prusa are probably Lego. And it's not by a whole lot. But it's very handy. So each one has pictures of basically what's in it. And it'll tell you, you know, what's in there, but for stuff like screws, uh, normally it's also got a diagram to compare size as well. And I haven't got into these boxes yet, so I'm going to wait and do that all during the build. Everything is nicely packaged. Everything was nice and snug in the box. Nothing moved around, nothing jostled. So great packaging. You can tell they ship a lot of these. And I think that's a good quick summary. So let's get to building. So six hours later and it's built so that's with recording and all that fun stuff so you might actually get it done quicker and then you're looking at about a half hour to 45 minutes calibration um, depending on how well it goes 
calibration went very smooth on here. All those features are built into the Prusa, so once you power it on, it'll walk you through the calibration, get you all set up. And so far it prints really well. Now I've only played around with PLA here. Um, and for most of what I'm doing, PLA will work fine. I'm not getting into anything serious or crazy. Now the instructions are amazing. So that is one thing that Prusa does better than probably anybody is their instructions. Follow it, look at the pictures, read the notes. They give you all the tips. They're building them. They're getting a ton of community feedback and it's super helpful. I'll be doing another short video on my recommendations of what to buy once you get a printer. So don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for that. I'll also be starting my custom computer project that I've been designing. So I'll be showing that video here soon as well. Um, with that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time.